We continue to hear more from the friends of the Boaz family involved in that terrible plane crash near Detroit City Airport. Peyton Boaz was the sole survivor, and tonight we're hearing from his best friend since second grade. Sophia Nilsson says Peyton remains in critical condition, but there has been some improvement. She talked about when she first heard the news and her attempts to watch the video of Peyton escaping the wreckage. She also talked about Peyton always putting others above himself. He's still very outgoing. He's very kind. He's a very selfless person. He's always putting people before himself and always like looking out for people. He's very much like a guardian angel. Peyton will be undergoing surgery tomorrow to treat the burns that he received in the crash. And you can hear more from the interview with his best friend tomorrow on the Today Show. Let's get started here on Local 4 at 7 a.m. The woman who was seen being run over Sunday spoke about the hit and run crash today. 23 year old Shana Sarnowski was being dropped off at the Detroit VFW by a family friend. That's when two women in a green Ford Escort followed her from the convenience store and threw a cup of coffee at her. They didn't stop there. They paused briefly and then hit the gas and ran her down. I hit her top of the hood of her car or windshield and then I fell back down and as I fell back down I would think she would stop then. She just drove right over my head. Honestly the whole time when I was just rolling under the car I just thought you know stay alive. Shana was released from the hospital. She continues to recover from multiple injuries to her arms, back and head. Police are still looking for the driver responsible. The MSU Board of Trustees is going to meet tomorrow morning to discuss the timeline and selection process of finding a new university president. The interim president, John Engler, took over in February after former President Luana Simon resigned. Engler has been under fire recently for emails criticizing the survivors of the Larry Nasser case.